and welcome back to the channel. On this video, let's talk about a bike by Magicycle that's new out there. And I've not talked about Magicycle bikes before, so this is the first time. And they've got a bike out there called the Magicycle Deer. And first I want to talk a little bit about the bike, the description of the bike. Uh, some of the uh, specs on the bike and then I want to talk about some uh, alternatives or competition for that bike first of all the bike is a, a 52 volt 26 by 4 fat tire they call it an SUV and so it's kind of like a bike that can kind of be on road or off road. So it's a 52 volt, 750 watt. And The battery is a 20 amp hour, 52 volt, and so that's a pretty good sized battery. I, I noticed that a lot of bikes now, several of them now are starting to get into the 52 volt and 20 amp hour battery. I'm seeing that a little bit more now than before. It was very rare to see it. Now you're seeing it more common. So you get a little more, uh, a little more power there with a 52 volt and the 20 amp hour battery gives you a little more distance. The bike also has a pretty good uh, amount of torque. It's a 96 Newton meters of torque. That's pretty good for a 750 watt 52 uh, volt motor so the motor 750 watts as I say it peaks out at about 1100 it says so not too bad there it comes with a uh, full suspension which is really nice it is a sharp looking bike it comes in, I believe it's three different colors. There's a gray, there's a green, like a neon green, and then there's the yellow. I actually like that yellow one quite a bit. The yellow with the black, you know, if you get the fenders on it, you got the black fenders and the battery's black. Wait, I think the battery's integrated, never mind. But anyway, this, uh, the fenders, I want to bring that up. So the fenders, do not come with the bike unless you buy the uh, package with that. So it's with the fenders and rack, rear rack, it's $24.99. And if you want it without the fenders and rear rack, it's $24.49. So it's $50 more to get the fenders and the rear rack and for me personally that's a no-brainer I believe the load capacity on this bike is 400 pounds I'm not sure I can't remember now what that said that the rack is capable of holding how much weight I, I don't remember now but I will leave a link in the descriptions if you want to get more info on the Magicycle Deer it comes in, uh, like I say, the three colors and the choice of fenders and no fenders. For me, especially living where I do here in Oregon, we get a lot of rain. And I think it's well worth $50 to get fenders and a rack. That's, that's a good deal. So $24.99. It does have hydraulic brakes. 
a headlight, tail light, and I believe there's an integrated brake light. And those are usually the basic specs that people want to know. But if you want more specs and read all of them, you can go, uh, like I say, I'll leave a link here in the description. And you can go and check the full specs out. So what got my attention was the price though. Okay, so $24.99 to me seems a little bit steep for this bike. I'll say it is a very sharp looking bike. I really like the look of it though. Uh, but um, I think I would personally have a hard time forking out $2,500 for that bike. Just because I think there's other bikes out there that would give it a run for its money. I mean, if you're going to spend $2,500, and I got to tell you, I forgot to mention this, that's the sale price. The actual regular price of this bike is $2,700. So it's currently on sale $200 off. So it is currently $2,500. I believe the shipping is free. But uh, even at the $2,500, I think you could do possibly better or save yourself some money and get a bike that's pretty similar so a couple of bikes that come in mind to me right off the bat are the one I just recently did a video on talking about the wired freedom that wired freedom is a 60 amp a uh, 60 volt I should say uh, bike with a 40 amp controller I don't know the controller in this bike uh, what size controller I did not see anywhere where it had that I may have missed it so you might want to check the specs maybe it's there but I I don't remember seeing the uh, controller but uh right off the bat though like I say the wired Freedom comes to mind, and it's currently going for $2,000, so $500 less, and it's regular $2,200, so there's a $500 difference in price right there. And the uh, Freedom would be a more powerful bike, having a 200 or 2,000 watt peak uh, motor coming in at 60 volt. The battery is a 60 volt, 20 amp hour. So more voltage, but the same size uh, amp. And pretty much the same. It has fenders, it has a rack, rear rack, hydraulic brakes, full suspension. So it's $500 less and also it's free shipping. So Uh, so there's that one and another one that's I believe running at if it's still I believe it's still running at $18.99 is the Kepler by Aerial Rider that one you'd have to throw in there as well as a, a comparable and uh, that one is uh, a 52 volt uh, bike as well with similar numbers 20 amp hour battery and and the uh, motor peaks at well over a thousand uh, watts I think it's either 1800 or 2000 I've forgotten now but it's right up there so there's another bike to throw in there that's uh, even cheaper that I think would be a good comparable and if you like a different style, if you like more like the graffiti here, or, or uh, Lyric Graffiti, a uh, couple other bikes that would be in that price range that you could buy a little bit cheaper would be the uh, Ride One Up Rev One, the full suspension model, and that comes in at $2,500. 
under $2,500 uh, at about $2,400, I believe it is, $2,400 $2, on that one. And then another one that's also $2,400 that would be right there, 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery, is the uh, Aerial Rider X-Class. That would be in there as well if you're looking at alternative bikes, but I think I think if that bike would have been in there around the $2,000 mark, I think they might have hit it better. I think $25 is probably, to me, about, about $500 overpriced. Now, you may not agree, and maybe you've got another bike that you would throw in there that would be a good comparable that you would rather have. I was trying to stick to 52 volt or 60 if you can find one that's in that price range, 20 under $2,500. Uh, if you know of any other bikes that would be right in there that you would rather have, or just throw another bike name in the mix that I may not have, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. I'd be interested in seeing what others would do in that case. What would you pick? Would you pick for your $2,500? Would you pick a Magic Cycle Deer or would you go off the board and pick something that I didn't even talk about? A, a different bike altogether. It's, uh, I gotta tell you out there, the bike world right now, it's a pretty stiff competition. There's lots of bikes out there and always more that are coming out on the market. Like I say, I like the Magic Cycle Deer. I've never ridden one, so I might think differently if I got a ride on one to see what it was like. But as far as uh, just going off the specs, you know, and a little bit of what I've seen others ride, uh, videos riding it, um, I don't know. I don't think I would. Like I say, I don't think I would pay the 25. I think it's I think the price would be better set at at 2000 or maybe 2100, but I think 2000 is probably the sweet spot for that bike just based on the specs that I see on the bike. But let me know in the comments if you uh disagree with me and you think that that is a good deal for 2500 or are you like me would you shop around more and do you have other another bike or other bikes in in mind that would be a comparable price wise that would be uh superior maybe or a better deal than that bike so go ahead and leave your uh comment in the comments below and i'll see what, what you guys think of that I'm on the Lyric Graffiti right now. Cruising around. Always a fun uh, ride to ride this bike. I know there's a, a few other bikes that I didn't mention, like the Rad, the Rad Rover, and some others that are more like 48 volt. So I was trying to stick with the uh, the 52 volt or or the wired. That one happens to be 60 volt. That's in that same price range, actually $500 less. That's why I brought that one up. I was trying to match up to 52 volt. There may have been, there may be some that I may have totally forgotten. I'm sure there is, but just an interesting, uh, 
it's an interesting uh, topic if you're going to spend 2500 you know what do you buy because that's a pretty good that's a pretty good amount to spend on a bike if you've got 2500 you should be able to get something pretty decent for that kind of money because i always look at it i break break it down into about four categories so i say there's the thousand dollar range which would be like electric or something in that area like a more of a, a low end decent bike but low end budget wise and then you've got your next second level which is probably a little more like the thousand to two thousand and then you've got your uh, two thousand to three thousand dollar bikes and then I think you get the three thousand to four thousand which is probably the area where I'm in right now with the uh, graffiti and the uh, grizzly those are two bikes that I have that were in the uh, 3,000 plus, less than 4,000 though. And so then you get above 4,000, you start getting into the four, five, six, you know, you get into the Sarans and Hux and, and uh, Onyx, Voodoo, and the Ghost from uh, Lyric. Some of the more uh, higher priced bikes that are basically uh, bordering on if not a motorcycle so that's going to do it for this video like I say if you've got a comment on the video uh, on bikes and uh, what you would do for your $2,500 would you buy the Magicycle Deer or what would you pick for that price trying to stick with the 52 volt let's say we're going to buy a 52 volt or more if you can get one that's higher than 52 volt and uh, and see what you can come up with for that price so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe hit the subscribe button also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you'd like to purchase this very bike here the Lyric Graffiti I do have a link in the description and I have a discount code, Oregon eBiker Mark, all one word. That'll save you $150 off the bike. That's Oregon eBiker Mark, all one word. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.